You might know that Show It integrates with WordPress to give you a very powerful blog with a beautiful design through the Show It platform. You might not understand how those two things work together and what the benefit is for you though. First, let's talk about the benefit of WordPress. WordPress was built with search engines in mind, which means that a lot of times WordPress sites rank higher than other sites on Google search. We want to make sure that what we're putting out into the world gets found, right? We want to make sure that the website that we're building, the content we're creating, all is easily findable with Google search results. WordPress helps make that possible. Today I want to show you how you can customize the look of your WordPress blogs in Show It and how to get the look that you really want. Let's get into it. All right, so I'm going to bring you behind the scenes in my Show It account for DearKateBrandStrategy.com. This is the Show It side, and we're going to show you how WordPress and Show It work together and integrate together to create one website that's seen by the public, even though you're really technically using kind of two platforms. First, we're going to go over to the left-hand panel of our site under the Site tab, not the Page tab, to the Blog Templates, and you're going to go to the Blog, one that just says Blog, or it may say Blog Role. Um, this is going to be the page that houses a list of all of the posts that are on your site, um, and it can be a limited number. Usually, we have about five or ten showing on this page for people to scroll through. And then we offer the option for them to look at older posts or newer posts as well down here at the bottom. So how this works is all of this content here is just placeholder content. Um, same with this here, articles. It's just placeholder content. My, I'm going to go into the page view here. Um, my sidebar is static content, meaning that it doesn't change. It stays the same on every page of my website. But these bits here are all um, just placeholders for blog posts and content that comes in from WordPress. So how we do this is each piece of this has a title or a tag on it. So under our text properties for that, we go to WordPress. And for this instance um, is the post title. This page, this canvas, is set to be a WordPress in post loop, meaning that it's going to show it as a list of posts. And then this one is marked to be the WordPress featured image. This text box is marked to be my um, post excerpt. excerpt. And this should not be set to H H1. This should be set to a P paragraph. Um, text tag, you should only have one H1 per page. And in the case of this page for me, it is this whatever goes in this category title um, so that it's the only place that it happens on this page. I don't want to make it my post title because there will be multiple post titles running down this page and you only want eight, one H1 tag per, per page. So then um, we've got the title the featured image, the excerpt, and then I have a little link for read more. Um, and I have that set up as a click action to a WordPress post so that when someone clicks this, it brings them to that post. Also that when they click the title or the featured image, any, um, well, the featured image, you can set a click action to the title. Um, you cannot set a click action to it. It automatically clicks to the post and same with the excerpt. Now, you don't have to have every one of these pieces. It's up to you which um, information you want here. I'm going to show you under text properties the different pieces that you could pull from WordPress. So it could be the title, the author, the date, the actual content, which is like the full body of the post, the excerpt, comments, categories, top category, uh, comment link, comment form, comment count, previous single post link, or next single post link, newer post link, older post link, category title, tags, sidebar one, sidebar two, sidebar three, search bar, and advanced content replace. Those are all of the different types of content you can pull from WordPress into your show it template. So for example, these down here are marked with newer post link and older post link so that um, when you click on them, on the live page, it goes to show you more a list of more page, more posts. 
let me show you what this looks like live. So this is my blog role or blog feed. Um, this is the category that these are tagged under. I have my site set up a little bit different where I have all of the blog posts or articles labeled as blog on one category and those show up on one page. So these are all of the posts. And like I said, it repeats down the page that kind of template that we've created on show it. So where it's the title, image, excerpt, read this post. It's going to repeat down the page like that. All right, coming back into show it, I want to show you that you don't have to have the blog role or the blog feed laid out like that. You can do different things with it. I'm going to show you my podcast page. So this is a category page set up so that only the posts that are tagged as podcast show up here, but you can set it so that you have a, go to the page tab again, you have canvas views, a series of canvas views so that you have each post listed side by side like this. Um, you can do a grid, you can have it alternate where, um, for instance, like this page, you could have it so that the image is here and the excerpt is here and then swaps down below for the next one. You can have it repeat that pattern. There are lots of different ways that you can customize your blog page and lay it out um, so that you can get the look that you want. Going back to the podcast page, all of this is just static content. So when you come to my podcast page, all of this stays the same and just these pieces change. Let me show you the live view of the podcast page. So you can see all of this information stays the same. And then here are the individual posts that, uh, that I have for podcast episodes. So when you click those change, it's pulling that information directly from WordPress, uh, the title, the excerpt, all of this. Um, and then when you click into it, you can see what my single post page looks like. Now, you can have two different types of single posts. Um, we're not going to go deep into that here. Uh, you do have to have the advanced blog for that. So you could make it so that, for example, my podcast episodes would have a different layout post than my blog post, but I don't have that set up now. They all come into the same template for um, each individual single post. All right, back into show it. I want to show you what a single post looks like over here on the left where we have our blog templates. I'm going to click onto single post. Here I have a canvas that set as grow with content. This is where I have my title. I want to make sure that my title has enough room um, and sometimes they're longer titles, sometimes they're shorter titles, and I don't want it to have like weird spacing here. So I put it in its own canvas with that grow with content status over here on the right. Um, and then make sure that I put that text box. This is just placeholder. This text will not show up on my live website, um, but I pull my post title here. Next canvas is for my post content. Again, this is a grow with content page. Um, the spacing that's above and below this uh, text box will remain on the actual live blog. And the size of the text box will grow to fit the content that's pulled in from WordPress. So again, this is tagged with post content. Um, and then here, this is my comments canvas. I have this uh, text here that says leave a comment. And I've got this comment form um, and the actual comments set as hidden to start canvases. These uh, text blocks here have click actions to show that those canvases, to show the comment form and to show the comments that are left there. This next section is for the previous post and the next post. These are set with, um, again, text properties for the WordPress placeholder text to make sure that people can click to the next one. You'll notice that my sidebar um, overlays on my footer, but in the live site, it doesn't do that because there is plenty of content that's making this canvas bigger. 
so it's got place to go. All right, so that gives you a glimpse into the show it side of things. I'm going to click over to WordPress and just show you where some of that information comes from. For example, this blog post, this title is going to pull into the post title. Um, over here on the right, the featured image will pull into anywhere in my show it site that says featured image. My excerpt, I need to write one here, um, pulls in to the content on my show it site. Um, like for example, this one I didn't put an excerpt on. And so when you go into the podcast page where I have the list of episodes, you'll see that the excerpt is just like the first text that showed up on uh, that blog post, which is listen on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. So I should update that so that when you go to my podcast page, you get an actual little excerpt of what the post is about. Um, but that shows you kind of how that works. Now, the other thing that's important to know when you're writing a blog post is that it's good to have subheadings throughout your post. Uh, and you can use that here by clicking the, for example, like, let's see, oops, accidentally swapped those. But say we want to make this a subheading. And it's currently paragraph text. You can click on, I'm going to do this whole block and I don't want to separate them. Um, I'm going to click on this line and change it to a heading. Now you've got the option of H1, H2, H3, H4, H5, H6. Um, these fonts will these fonts will match up to what you have set in your show it design site settings. So this is your title, heading, subheading, para, uh, and then there's the paragraph text. So that's how the font styling will match from your blog over to your actual post live. Let me show you what that looks like. Um, I'm changing this to an H2. We're going to go in and preview it to the, so you can see that that text changed to be this font, which is my, in my show it settings. This was H2. So I'm going to go into design settings. It is going to be this heading font style. So if I used H1, it would pull this title uh, font and styling. H2 is going to be this heading font styling. H3 is going to be my subheading styling. And then you've got your paragraph styling. I hope that's helpful in explaining how WordPress and Showit integrate. And if you have any questions, you can always contact me um, either through Instagram DMs at Dear Kate Brand Strategy or shoot me an email, kate at dearkatebrandstrategy.com or leave a comment below. Thanks so much for tuning in.